either swinging a hammer as a chippy or working as a fitter underground or more recently been out with the boys at Webb Marine up in Sydney helping them get the boats out the door. And I'm Beck. Um, I'm a superintendent for New South Wales Ambulance. Uh, so the boat's name is Resolute. I think it just come about um, probably a bit of a reflection on our lifestyle really. Um, we've been set back by a lot of things but Tim and I just sort of keep going. We're determined to, to you know, tick those boxes off. So the boat took us a little while to get. Um, I guess that's where the name came from. 2100 uh, super cab, 21 foot. Got an internal beam of 1.8, external beam of 2.3. Freeboard, internal freeboards are around about 800 mil from memory. 200 litre fuel tank in this one. Um, you can now get them with a, a 250, which will give you greater range, which I'd love to have, but um, wasn't an option when I bought it. So I think tow weight, you're running around realistically, once you've got your gear in it, you're running around about 2100, which uh, you can tow with most uh, modern, like, you know, dual cab utes and stuff. We run there with Ford Ranger, which is just a, a tradie workhorse, Monday to Friday, and then on the weekend, she tows the boat around, and um, we've, we've probably put about, well, I think we've put about 12,000 Ks on the trailer so far. Um, doesn't take long to rack up the Ks with a, a few runs up north. Try and take it places, but use it more like a, Floating caravan, I suppose. A few trips up to um, Fraser and 770. And, but um, yeah, primarily down here, it's 95% it's game fishing for us. This uh, stavey's been our first um, hard top, and I don't think I could go back now. It's just so comfortable and capable, and it just, just prolongs your day on the water as well. The wind comes up a bit, and you still stay out. I'm getting pretty soft in my old age, I don't like getting wet, so um, I'm quite happy to sit behind a, a windscreen now. I've had um, five knee surgeries and a couple of back surgeries just through life catching up with me, not, not any uh, significant accident, just wearing out, my, little, my pins just weren't cutting it anymore. <laughs> and the stabby's great, it's, uh, it's really comfortable. It's, uh, I actually, I, I find myself sitting down a lot of the time, which I haven't been able to do in any other boat. So yeah, it's great, it's, it's very stable. I don't feel too tired at the end of the day and I don't get off thinking like I need another back surgery. So no, just, I'm really happy with the ride of it. She's an absolute weapon of a, of a thing. We made the decision that we were gonna get a Stavey probably a good two, three years before we even bought it. I think it was just really the, the reputation for being safe and the reputation for just being a bulletproof, well-riding hull. And obviously the, the support and the sales service that I got from the boys at Webb. Um, like Tim said, it, it just feels really safe. And you know, as a mother as well, having my daughter out there, um, it, it, it's good. It's nice and stable, um, and especially with the cabin. So yeah, like Tim said, I certainly couldn't go back to a, to a centre console. The high sides on it as well, really appealing. It's good for, for rocks when she's fishing as well. So yeah, look, really enjoyable boat and yeah, no issues with it at all. Really happy with it. Yeah, I've had a couple of Hondas on different boats, among other brands. I've never had a problem with Honda, and I find the Honda has just got um, just a bit more linear torque curve. It just that, that there's always that little bit of power left um, to give it. Um, really happy with the 200. Uh, they go really well with the 150, and the 200 just um, just takes it up a notch. Got a Evo 3 and a 12 inch uh, with a TN 275 low high wide tranny. It's these days it's a pretty standard setup and it's pretty bulletproof. Simrad's easy to use. Uh, I'm not real tech savvy. I think if you can use one of the new smartphones, you're all over it with, with most brands these days. If I'm driving 90% of Beck's days looking backwards, we did the first season with the um, standard Stavey seats, which were fine, but Beck wanted a bit more comfort. So we, um, I pulled the seat out and um, just fabricated up a, uh, I guess a trolling lounge with um, some tackle storage above it and it houses an esky underneath. That's probably the biggest modification I guess I've done and just other little things like lights and uh, we put solar on it, more, more for our trips when we go out up to the reef up in Cairns, chewing, chewing through a bit of power running TVs and fridges and all this sort of stuff. But other than that, she's pretty well, uh, pretty well standard. We went with the extended V-berth as well in the cabin. So that's been great for, for us when we're doing our overnighters. We've been up to um, like Lady Musgrave earlier this year, spent a couple of nights out on the boat. So 
that's really good. Um, and that custom chair folds down to another bed as well. Heaps of storage up under the V-berth and again in the pockets up there as well. So uh, overall, um, plenty of storage, good space for us. Um, works really well for the family. For me, I've fished oh, most of my life. It's always been with my mates, which is great. And, but more recently, it's been with my family and that just takes on a whole new meaning for me. And um, especially with technology and stuff these days, it's getting harder for families to, to stay together and spend time together. So trapping your daughter on a boat where she can't get off is perfect. <laughs> so <laughs> I do get to spend time with my family, which is uh, really nice. And it, it's great that Beck loves it as well, because there's, I, I know so many blokes that They've got to lie and cheat and sneak out just to go fishing and uh, it's quite, quite the opposite for me. I get home and, and Beck's ready to rock and roll. She's got the boat ready to go, hooked up. And um, yeah, all we've got to do is put it in the water and go. So for me, it's really turned into a family thing. Um, and being able to see Beck, you know, catch her first marlin and hopefully my daughter Rox can get onto a, onto a couple this year. And she's, confidence levels are going up. That's, yeah, it's great. It's good to see. And yeah, Rox is, Rox is getting more interested in fishing. It's nice. Um, it's nice having her, especially when I got the marlin. We got some great shots. Yeah, it just, she was so excited because I'd lost a few in the lead up. Um, and you know, we have some, um, some exchange of words on the boat when, when we lose a few. But um, yeah, it's nice. Nice to do it all as a family.